Okay, guys, we're back, and we're gonna take on... Uh, we got a choice between Plague Knight, Mole Knight, and King and uh, Treasure Knight, so I'm probably gonna go with Treasure Knight. Because it's the less bitchy of the, the three new stages. So, let's get into it. Um, Treasure Knight has an underwater-themed... Underwater-themed uh, level. And I'm kind of wondering why I chose this level, considering I fucking hate water levels. You slut. Wait. Ricochet! There we go. That's what I was trying to do. So yeah, there's another one of those, uh... Oh, bitch. That's disappointing. Kinda wanted that fucking purple diamond, but that's okay. What is this anyway? Is this another one of those red fish, or is this a gold fish? The red fish. If you find a red fish there, they'll give you one of three, uh, randomized... I think they're randomized potions. But considering I re you can only have two chalices, and I have two chalices filled with potions already, he gives me jack shit. Fucker. And I'll show you where to get the the new weapon in this level. I'm not even gonna bother with him, because he's an asshole. Ow. Uh oh. Be very careful on how long you hold the jump button in this level, because... When you're underwater, you actually... You ascend a lot faster, and you descend a lot slower. So if you actually go up and hit the spikes on the ceilings or the floor, you're dead. No other way around it. And yeah, 200 more. This here. Anything? Oh, here we go. 350 for that goldfish. It's not a gold, it's a gold, it's not a goldfish, it's a golden fish, I should say. Very careful because the the moss that grows on those platforms is kind of slippery, and you can fuck yourself over pretty easily. All right, whatever. Oh shit! Okay. I'm not gonna worry about trying to get like every piece of treasure because I would just be losing my mind. And believe me, the more you fuck around in these new stages, the more your ch your your chances increase of you dying. So keep that in mind. So you saw I broke this wall here. Basically, what you want to do. Is jump on the bubbles to get across, and then you have to pogo your ass all the way back. And there's something down here, so I want to see what that is. 
It's a music sheet. Cool. It's an apple. I think it's somewhere around here where we get the new item. Oh wait, no, I know where I know where it is. It's kind of hard to miss. If this is the level I'm thinking of. Yeah, it is. Fuck me. Open the box, but you can't actually get the treasure yet because you gotta deal with this fucking thing. So basically, you have to run away from it at first, avoid the fishes it spits at you. Oh, wow. And then when you get to these platforms, it's time to battle. So you have to jump up and hit the box, because it's got the, uh, the anglerfish sensor light. I don't know what that thing is supposed to be called. Did I mention I hate underwater levels? Shit. It's like the mini boss of this. Oh. Saved myself there. Alright. Now I can get the treasure. Feels alive. I haven't gone, had a ride like that in ages. I think I'm gonna be sick. Anyways, I'm about to drop another great deal. Would you like to see? Yes, I would. It's an anchor. Throwing anchor. Yes, I'll buy it. So basically, this thing, you throw it, it arches and destroys everything it hits. Stingrays. Chicken. Oh, let's keep going. Hopefully. Oh. Another music note. Now if you hit this, it will make you go all the way back across. Of course, everything respawns when you exit an area. If you hit these up, you can kind of juggle them and make them hit other enemies. I think we're... nope. We're entering hell. <sighs> okay. You can tell this is kind of a pain in the ass. Alright. Wasn't too bad. Now this guy threw his anchors. we're gonna do is we're gonna toss his ass down there and he's gonna stick there I'm supposed to but whatever now make sure you aim these correctly because if you don't you're gonna die so right about here whoa Jesus I almost fucked myself over there ok 
Okay, the anchors go down, but when they come up, you can stand on them. There's a checkpoint here. Okay. Fuck, those things are annoying. Okay, might have to use my anchor. Fucking bastard out of there. Time this comp as best as you can. There you go. And that guy just fucked me over because there's extra stuff up there. Fucking hell. But whatever. Let's go. I think the only thing that's in that area was... I, I think it's just another note, or note. Another music sheet. I think. I am not 100% sure. So you're basically gonna hit this switch, it's gonna make the whole thing fly forward, but you gotta break these walls quickly. I think now we are at Treasure Night. Yeah, here we go. Treasure... My gems. My vessel. My ocean. Your very persistent... Persistence... Tarnishes. You are to lay claim to the sea itself. Your greed knows no bounds, Treasure Knight. Your hands are... Your hands are no less dirty. Even now, others are playing, are paying for your adverse, whatever the fuck. Let's duel, winner take all. All right, cool. So, be careful with this guy because he, oh my God. When he pounds the ground, you have to jump relatively high. Or just bounce on it. God, there we go. Okay, so that was the end of Treasure Knight's stage, which now I think we can actually go to the village in this area. We shall see. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so what that guy over there is, he is a wandering traveler. But if you go, if you if you go over to him, he will challenge you to a fight. So we're not going to fight him yet because he's a pretty badass motherfucker. But we're going to go to the village. There's a few things we can do here. One, if you come in here and you talk to all this guy's customers, you'll notice that they're all a little bit short on gold for the things that you, they need, they want to buy. So if you give each of them a thousand gold, you'll trigger another boss fight. So let's give this guy a thousand gold. Give this Check a thousand gold. Mr. Hat. Ah, my precious hats. That's a lovely helmet. So lovely 
so lovely. Shovel Knight, I must inquire, sir, about your curious collection. Mr. Hat, travel the land far and wide and do... Oh, travel the, the land far and wide, I do. Searching, learning, teaching. Collecting all shapes, all sizes, hats. Each one I wear grants me a new power. And your hat looks powerful indeed. Intriguing, but I am rather attached to my helmet. Yes, yes, about that. Heh heh heh. So now we gotta fight this guy. She's kind of tough. Really tough. Really tough. Jumpy and fast. But we beat his ass anyway, so fuck him. And we got quite a bit of gold for that. Enough. I know not what come over me. My hunger for hats took control. Your beautiful hat. What the fuck? It's a helmet. Right. Right ho. I know that. <laughs> Where it is good health for now. Huh? Well, off I go then. I mean, he's fucked up. So yeah. But we're not done with him yet, because you can see him standing up there. Okay. But in order to get there, we have to jump up here. And this is where you can purchase new items and armor. Jump down here. We'll talk to him again. Oh brother, you found me. I'm so embarrassed. Gives you another thousand gold. I promise I'll pester you no longer. Here's some gold for the trouble. Now. Oh, there's a music note up there. Okay. So if you come up here. see him again, so we'll talk to him. You! You can't be serious. How did you find me again? You're following me everywhere. Okay, okay. I won't come back. Just take some more of my gold and leave me... Leave me to my hat. The hat Nazi. So we got that one. Now let's look inside of the shop. He's not here. Okay, well, let's go up and look at our stuff we can buy. This is the armorer, so... As you can see, we have different sets of armor we can use. Some are more expensive than others, but... They all do a certain thing. Your standard armor is just simple, but sturdy. Final Guard drops half as much gold when you fall in battle. So if you die, you lose half as much gold. Uh, Conjurer's Coat. Sacrifice some protection for a higher magic limit. And harvest magic from defeating foes. So if you stick with your like magic attacks and everything, that might be the best way to go. Uh, the Dynamo Mail. Perform two consecutive shovel drops to unleash a powerful charge slash. That's pretty good. Uh, the Mail of Movement. Heavily plated. Keep your footing when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. That's not really what you want in the upcoming levels, I'll recommend. Uh, the Ornament Plate. Uh, flashy, acrobatic useless. So I'm going to actually go with this one. For now, until we get a different thing. This is the Shovel Smith. 
and you get three upgrades for your shovel. Uh, charge handle. Hold your attack to unleash a powerful charge slash. I'm actually going to get that. Because that's basically the best way to deal with damage. So you can hold up and release. And that's it. And we got another Wanderer. Both of which are blocking my uh, my return to the other town. Hmm. But let's deal with this first. Okay. This is pretty simple stuff. We kind of spent a lot of money on our new armor, but it's worth it in the long run. There we go. As you can see, doing multiple shovel drops will charge up the, uh, the charge slash for you instantly. Oh, that's a lot of fucking gold right there. And that's it. Let's hope one of these guys can get out of the... <sighs> Bitch. Okay, let's try fighting this first guy. His, his name is Baz, apparently. Arg! I can't believe this. Trouble friend? Have you lost your way? Brought the, bought the best gear, the slickest armor, the strongest rope. Er, pardon? Are you in need of help? Those stuck-up Order of No Quarter clowns have no idea what they're me missing. Hey, you look like a knight. Shovel knight at your service, but I'm not in league with. So I heard that if I beat a knight... You get to take their little right, their title, right? Please don't do something you'll regret. I don't want to. The great Baz Knight. I like the sound of that. They'll have no choice but to accept me now. Come on, let's do this. So I think, I think this guy's like a take on Simon Belmont, I think. I think it's definitely Simon Belmont because like horrible knight to have a curse. I don't know. Got him. But yeah. Beat his ass pretty bad. Baz, no way, not even my best moves could phase you. Well fought. If you can accept defeat like a true knight, you'll always have your dignity. Now they'll never let me into the order. Never, 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 wham, bullshit. And beat the shit out of him and take the rest of his crap. Peace! Oh shit, okay. <sighs> now this guy is a different story because he's a little bit tougher. Rise, rise. North from Pridemore, 
West at the fork. Oh, brother, I must have passed it already. Well met, traveler. Oi! <laughs> Maybe you can help me. I think I got lost. I was trying to... Wait a second, you're... You're the knight with the shovel. Indeed, I am the... The knight with a shovel who has been menacing the village. I... I assure you I have done no such... You're gonna use that shovel to bury innocent people. Your reign of terror ends here. Okay, this guy's an asshole. I hate this guy. He is agile as fuck. I might get him. I might get him. Oh, yeah. Oh. God damn. Fuck. Got him. Jesus. Do your worst, villain. Strike me down. I'm no villain. We're fighting a common enemy. We... we are. What? Why don't you say so? Why didn't you say so? Now I feel like a fool. <laughs> Good. Think nothing of it, friend. Knights are strongest when they are... when they work together. Yeah, knight's code first vow. Always help person in need. Knock him down, Shovel Knight. Yay! Okay, we can finally cash in all of our music notes now. Shit. I have four music notes. That's $2,000. 2000 gold, I should say. No meal tickets, so let's get some magic upgrades, I guess. Four thousand? Yes. Got eighty. Eighty magic, so that should be pretty good for the rest of this area. So let's continue on. Who are we going to go after next? 